Definition of Terms for Drawing Software Have you ever tried using a computer software to draw something? Although most software are expensive, there are those that you can download for free. Once you use them, you will find out that most features that allow you to create lines and shapes and change these lines to thick lines and vice versa are common. You can even erase and do it over again. Study the following and familiarize yourself with some of the tools found in most drawing software. Basic Drawing Tools Pencil Tool Is used to draw free lines onto the picture. Paint Bucket Tool is used to fill an area with a solid color or pattern. The Rectangle Tool is used to create a perfect square or rectangular shapes. By changing the line thickness in line tool, you could change the thickness of the square. Brush tool is used to paint on a picture or photograph with the selected color. Pen tool is used to create vector graphics using mathematical points and curves. Ellipse or circle tool is used to create perfect circles. Thickness can be changed using line tool. The line tool is used to create perfectly straight lines. Selection and Erasing Tools Move Tool Allows various parts of the image to be selected and move around the canvas. Eraser Tool Provide different ways to erase various parts or all of your drawings. Hand tool allows to move an image around its window by dragging. The tool is useful for maneuvering around an image to focus in on specific details within the picture. Text insertion horizontal type tool has a basic function that adds text in different fonts and various sizes. Opacity It gives degree 
to which something reduces the passage of light. Undo. Allow to cancel or reverse an action or effect. Drawing a tree using different tools in a drawing software via photopia.com. So let's start with brush tool to draw a simple tree trunk. This is tree trunk. This is color black. To draw a simple tree. Then, we will draw the leaves of the tree. We draw the leaves of the tree and the tree trunk using the brush tool. Now we will color the leaves color green. Let us select the color which is color green. And then we make use of the proper blend mode, blend mode, which is multiply. So again, we make use of the brush tree. To zoom in, okay, just drag, click Alt, and then the scroll up in our mouse to zoom in on the image. So let's now color the leaves of the tree. Make sure to color first the edges of the leaves. Then you can adjust the size of the brush. Okay, so let us now color the trunk of the tree. Okay, so let's choose the color brown. Okay, like okay. Then the layer, the blend mode should be multiplied to color the trunk of the tree properly. Then we can increase the size of the brush. Okay, there is our tree. Okay, so we can create a folder to insert all the images in our folder for the images to be grouped properly. So when you click here, the opacity, the eyes, okay, when you on and off, You can change the color. Then you can change this. You can merge this layer, okay, to make a single image of the tree. So we can make use of the background to make a colorful background. Color blue, the shade of the blue.
to make a decent background. We change the opacity the green okay of the white. Change the size and then the color. So this is our simple drawing using the basic drawing tools in our photopia.com.